part five, I believe, of forming the ribs. In this video, we're actually going to take our blanks that we've already cut, and we're going to go ahead and form them. So if that interests you, hang around. All right, we've got our two rib blanks, a left and a right. We're going to form one as a left and a right. And we went ahead and deburred them and got them all ready to go. They're nice and smooth. I ran them along the um, scotch Bright wheel that I showed. And since this is worn out, why well, it shows a little more burnishing farther in on the edge rather than just the edge. It's uh, cosmetic. You can't feel it, and uh, it'll work fine. Our holes have been deburred. So I think these are ready to form. I've got them both to this same point. And we'll go ahead and put them in the form block. And get them set up there. The um, burnishing on the edges and the deburrs and everything on them, I don't think you need to have any more of a, you know, your aluminum should be no rougher than that. It's uh, nice and smooth. You can't grab your fingernail on anything. It doesn't show any real, real sand marks or grind marks or anything. And I think that's the way you, you want it to be. So we put our first blank on. When you form these, if you're doing lefts and rights, you want to be sure and keep track of which way is left and which way is right. And we'll see if we can't start this flange down. We'll bring this one towards us, which is going to be a uh, right-hand wing, I believe. And all you do is start working the edges down. set it in the vise, turn it around in the vise, why I don't have to worry about that edge hitting the bottom of the vise and damaging it. And you just slowly start working your, your flanges down. you almost immediately take your flanging pliers and start doing a little bit of a flange in them. And make sure you do your flanges the right way too. And all you're doing is just starting your flanges in there. You're starting to take up material as you go around. all the farther I'll take so I don't start stretching the nose piece. Let's go ahead and form this back flange a little bit. Make sure you're not hitting your vise on the bottom with your aluminum. start working this nose rib down hopefully without giving it any little kinks or any of that good stuff and it's enough harder we're probably gonna have uh, it'll start forming with the and this is where you have to start being a little bit careful with it to get it to to flow back because otherwise we'll end up with a kink in through here much material. 
material that we're trying to work down in. We may have to have to uh, trim a little bit of that material back. Yeah, we've got about all the flange we can get in those. And this sometimes is where a little bit harder mallet will make it a little bit easier to work this. Once I get to a certain point where I'll start working my flanges with a with a piece of rod. Some people will use a dowel. I've got a couple of these that I've made up. They work pretty well for me. It's just a 12 millimeter or a half inch rod that's epoxied into a handle. Actually got just a little bit too much material up through here that make it a little bit harder to work. We're gonna sand that or file that down just a little bit. We're gonna pull it out of the blocks to do that too. There's just a little bit too much material to want to flow around through there. sanded off a little bit on that on that edge and we took it back and we polished the edge of it again so we've got rid of all our all our sharp edges it's all deburred and anytime you um, do these you want to be sure and deburr them because if you don't you have a sharp edge there why that's where the potential to crack is so always make sure that they're deburred properly I'll put it back together one more time here I think we'll adjust that form block just a little bit more 
and just give us a little bit deeper flutes and we'll do that before we do the other rib but we're fairly smooth around the nose there we're pretty now yeah, we can adjust this a little bit here let's get this out of the way we can adjust that a little bit for straightness there we can come come in just a little bit more nose doesn't look too bad and then our ribs coming over the edge we've got our relief holes in each corner there again that relief hole could still come back a little bit more but uh, all in all that's probably a functional rib we'd have to check that against the against the spars as we since we would have probably already built our spars but we'll make a few adjustments to that form block and uh, then we'll do the other side well we have cut our flutes a little bit deeper or relief holes for our flutes so that we can get in there a little bit deeper and we shortened up the nose on this rib just a little bit so you can always make those little adjustments as you go along one left and one right so let's see which way we need to go here the side needs to come towards me it's that way we grab a couple clamps here going to work it around exactly the same way as we did before.
All right, well that's going to be pretty close for what we're going to do out of these form blocks. Got a little hoopy to, a couple little hoopies to take out there. If you just take your time going through, you can form these really well. I've kind of hurried along on this. I don't want to drag it out too long. I appreciate you guys sticking with me this long. But this kind of tells you the direction you hopefully maybe need to go or want to go. Or maybe it's the direction you don't want to go. got a longer bar that I use that will fit in the vise a little bit better. And you can move the nose around a little bit here. Just take your time, you can get a nice smooth radius on your nose rib there. I'll polish that edge just a little bit, but that's uh, that's kind of the basics of how I form a, form a rib. So the only thing left to do on this is to cut our lightning hole and flange it. And after that it's just fine tuning to, to get what you want, the shape you want and the nose radius you want. And make sure everything fits so you can take and tweak your tweak your blocks and make adjustments to them and it doesn't take that long and once you get that part of it done why things move along pretty quickly so anyway hopefully that'll give you a few ideas if you uh, find these helpful why well, you might give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh, any comments or suggestions you've got leave them in the comment section below and thanks for taking the time to watch